Hey there. Today I have a very important message I want to share with you. And if you're working in the travel and tourism industry, you're your own boss. You're an entrepreneur that has built the business from scratch, investing time, resources, passion. And the last 20 months have left you wondering who are you going to work with and for? This is what you need to hear. The first step to really and truly restart the tourism industry is in understanding who the travelers are today. Going back to business as usual is not going to work on the long term. Fighting on best prices and offer is only going to win quick bookings. What we really need to win is that trust. What we need to rebuild is the desire of traveling again because traveling today serves different purposes. We worked in the travel and hospitality industry with different suppliers. We have travel partners, travel agents, people who are promoting our products, PR agencies, you name it. But what we tend to neglect is taking the time to understand who is actually buying our travel products. Whether you're selling a tour, an excursion, whether you're a travel designer or you have your own agencies that that gives travel advices. Maybe you are booking the holidays of your clients. You are one man show running the digital, the in-person business, the development of the business you're running and the finances and the accounting. There's very little time left, I know, to taking care of understanding who's on the other side. So what happens is that we fall into this me, me, me mindset. It's about my brand. It's about my product. It's about what I sell. And I don't deny it. Yes, it is all these things. But the most important thing is that today we need to understand who is that travel product going to help. So if you're thinking that the clients you book holidays for are only going to go to have a good time and only going to go because they want to have a good time and relax and unwind, you're probably missing a big part of what traveling today really means for people. What I really want to share is that you have to take the time to understand who the travelers are today, what dictates their choices, what the priorities are, what makes them travel. And these are thoughts and reflections that travelers are making nowadays because they've had a lot of time to come through, a lot of time to reflect on their relationships, on their finances, on their health. And things have changed. Acknowledging that change will be the key to open, that will open the door for you to secure not just another booking, but to secure a brand advocate. Somebody that comes back to your brand because that person feels hurt. That person feels that you're, you're speaking to them, that you're helping them, that you're serving them the way they want to be served. So let's start from scratch. Let's understand what are the travel behavior changes that we have observed as tourism is just starting to pick up again. I just put together a travel behavior trend report for 2022. You can download it, you can go through it, you can let me know what you think. And most importantly, I want you to take time to understand whether in any of these behaviors, you can recognize your customers. Are they acting like that? Are they asking you these questions? If so, you're on the right track to understanding what will make them not just your clients, but your true brand ambassadors. Thank you for being with me today. If you think that this video brought you some value, made you think for a moment about what you are doing in your tourism marketing strategy, please leave me a comment. Write what you think, what you felt, what you are going to do. Let me know your, the actions you are going to take. And if you want, subscribe to this channel or follow, the, follow my profile, download the report. There's so many actions you can take so that we can stay in contact and I can keep delivering you the value you deserve.